welcome back to my channel and a really warm welcome if you are new here because of this video. My name is Gemma and I have a 19 month old son called Oscar and in this week's video I'm making a really really highly requested video which is all about why we made a switch from disposable nappies and wipes to cloth nappies and wipes. I'm really pleased to be making this video because it's something that I've wanted to make for a while but I didn't know if you guys would be interested and I've had so many messages asking me to make this video that I felt that now is the time. Uh, we made the switch at 12 months old and having done that Oscar is now 19 months old so we've been doing it for a while now but I so wish we'd done it earlier and so many people that I speak to that use cloth nappings wish they'd started earlier. So when I was starting to um, get the things together to make this video and making sure um, that it was going to be really informative to you guys, I approached the two companies that we use for our nappies and wipes. That is Littles and Blooms Nappies and Cheeky Wipes for our cloth wipes. And both companies have agreed to sponsor this video, which I'm so happy about because I love to work with brands that I use already and clearly love because our entire stash is made up of Little and Blooms Nappies and Cheeky Wipes. So just to show you, some examples of the nappies that we use. These are Littles and Blooms, you can get them on Amazon and I'll put all the links to these products in the description box below so you can go and check them out yourself. So they come in either Velcro fastening or popper fastening. And then we use uh, Cheeky Wipes for our cloth wipes. So that again, they come in so many designs and different colors. We have the organic bamboo um, wipes and we also have the minky wipes for faces so we have two different wipes so these are for bums and these are for faces so that we don't get them mixed up and we actually have um, the cheeky wipes kit as well which I'll go into more detail about um, what that involves but it comes with lots of different bits to get you started so I'm going to go through with you very very simply what you need to get started and how easy it can be when I asked on my Instagram what were the reasons for not trying cloth nappies so many of you said that they were complicated and when you researched it it was just overwhelming um, the poppers on the nappies how do they work how do you clean them um, it's too messy they smell so I'm going to just cover how you do it really simply how you make the switch what you need and how you do a nappy change so I really hope this video is going to be um, helpful to you if you are also thinking about making the change or maybe if you're having another child and you want to do cloth, cloth nappies with them. And so let's get started. This is everything you're going to need to really get started with cloth nappies and cloth wipes. So the first thing you're going to need is nappies and I chose the Littles and Blooms brand after a recommendation from my good friend Jo who was using the brand. They are so reasonably priced coming in at under £5 for a nappy plus an insert which is so much cheaper than so many other brands of reusable nappies out there. Their designs are beautiful and they come in both popper and hook and loop options. So there was really no question as to which brand we were going with and we've never needed to look elsewhere because these nappies suit us so well we've never had any leaks and they're just so beautiful. So firstly you're going to need nappies and your choice will be whether to choose the hook and loop option or velcro as you might know it as or the popper option. Both work equally well um, and then if you want to start from birth there's also the option to have newborn nappies. So these are slightly smaller and won't last you as long but work just the same. So if we take the popper option all it involves is unpoppering it and if I open it up you'll see that it looks pretty much like what a disposable would look like to put on. This is a nice soft fabric and then inside the pocket is your pull which is the waterproof coating so this means the liquid won't go through. As it is um, it wouldn't hold very much wee because there's nothing really there to absorb. So you then need to make a choice of what you're going to put in your pocket to absorb the wee. So Littles and Blooms do a range of different inserts from charcoal. These ones are microfiber and then there's also bamboo. So one of these would go inside the pocket of your nappy to absorb the wee's. So when choosing your liner, you'll have two different things to consider. That is how much wee it's going to absorb and how quickly it's going to take the liquid away from your baby's bum, keeping them nice and dry. So you can use a combination of different liners. So you could choose a charcoal mixed with a bamboo or um, a hemp mixed with a 
microfiber. So what you want to consider is how much of a heavy wetter your child is. Oscar isn't particularly unless it is a cold day. So for most of the time, and particularly when we were in Dubai, all I put inside my nappies was one bamboo insert. When he goes for his nap, Obviously he is asleep for a bit longer and so I want to make sure that he feels dry while he's asleep. So for this I choose something that's going to wick the moisture away quickly, so that would be a charcoal liner, and then I combine it with a bamboo, putting the charcoal closest to his bottom and the bamboo furthest away. With the exception of using a hemp liner, which is great for nighttime nappies, your average cloth nappy is going to need to be changed every two to three hours, so slightly more frequently than your disposable. But just remember you can use a combination. So use a quick absorber with a high capacity liner for a great combination. It's very simple to stick two liners into that pocket. When using a combination of liners, just remember to put the quickest absorber at the top closest to your baby's bottom as this will help wick the moisture away and then the higher capacity liner underneath will hold on to the moisture. So once you've selected your liner or liners, lay them on top of each other and stuff them into the pocket of the nappy. You'll need to stretch them out a little bit so that they don't bunch but they should fit nice and snug against the length of the nappy. So at this stage your nappy is ready to go, but an optional extra is to add a biodegradable liner to the centre of the nappy. It comes in a roll like this and is made of a papery kind of material. I actually cut mine down the centre to make them smaller and fit the nappy better. And then you just rip one off the roll and lay it onto the nappy, so this doesn't go inside the pocket. And this is to catch the poos. So this is how I fold up my nappies and I do all of these in the evening ready to go for the next day and I find that really easy and actually a little bit therapeutic to do and so I'm ready for the next day. Now you might wonder why there's these additional poppers on the front of the nappy. This is actually to size the nappy to a smaller child. Oscar doesn't need these at the moment, he's 19 months and fits the nappy without these pop it up. But you can popper it to bring up the front and actually make the nappy smaller. And that goes for the newborn nappies as well. So these are already smaller than the standard nappy but you can also popper them up So if you're doing cloth nappies, it makes sense to do cloth wipes as well. We have two different types of our cheeky wipes, and we also have the starter kit. So with the kit, you get two boxes. One is to keep your fresh wipes in, and one is to keep your mucky wipes in. So to start off your fresh box, you're gonna need the essential oils that come with your kit. So you open up your box, you fill it with tap water to the line that's on the inside and you just drop in two drops of your essential oil. You actually get to choose the smell, I believe. Um, so that mixes in with the water and makes your wipes smell lovely and fresh. And so I just fold mine in half because I have two different types. It makes it easier to get them out. So these are for his bottom. And then I have a different type of wipe. They're the minky wipes that I use for kind of faces and hands after he's eaten. So it just makes it easier if they're in the box in this way. You don't have to obviously do it this way. Um, and then you need to change the water every two days. So you don't need to put too many wipes in, just enough to last you those two days. You can always top it up. Give it a squish down and they are ready to go and be used. Your second box is for your mucky wipes. So again, this you just fill up to the line and you put in two drops of your essential oil. This keeps the box smelling nice and fresh when it's got dirty wipes in it before you wash them. If you plan to be out and about for the day, the kit also comes with bags for you to put your wipes in to carry in your nappy bag. So all you need to do is take out the wipes from your fresh box. I take out as many as I think I'm gonna need, whether it's for the day or for a few hours. Squeeze out most of the liquid because they just need to be damp, really. And then pop them into your fresh bag. This is a waterproof bag, so it has a nice drawstring and you can fold it down so that it doesn't leak into your nappy bag. Take out um, any of the face or hand wipes if you're going to plan on eating as well and then that is ready for your nappy bag. I honestly can't recommend cloth wipes enough. They are so good at cleaning up poo explosions. I only need one, possibly two, compared to four or five water wipes for cleaning a bottom. 
So just as you have your mucky box for at home, you also have a mucky waterproof bag for your changing bag. So you just pop in your dirty wipe and you can close it up and take it away with you. And then when you get home, you actually just zip out the inner part of the bag, which is machine washable. So you don't need to touch any of the dirty wipes and pop it straight into your washing machine or into your nappy bin if it's not your wash day and you're ready to go. I'm going to show you how to change a standard popper nappy. If you prefer Velcro, then that just goes on like a disposable, but poppers will last longer. So the first thing you need to do is squeeze the nappy as you bring it up between the legs. Then pull the tab flat against the hip and above the thigh. Hold the tab in place and popper the first hip snap. Then reach over the tab and snap the first popper and then secure the last popper on that side. Then repeat this process on the other side. For a customised fit, the poppers won't necessarily be symmetrical on both sides. You don't want the nappy to be too tight or too loose. You shouldn't be able to fit more than two fingers under the belly panel of the nappy. This will make sure that you don't get any leaks and isn't too tight on your baby's belly. Once the nappy is on, you need to pull the fabric into the leg creases. This will make sure that the nappy is nice and comfortable for your baby and also that it won't leak. This is a really important step that often gets missed and results in people complaining that their nappies are leaking, but actually it's just because the nappy hasn't been pulled into the leg creases just where the underwear would naturally sit. Finally, check that there are no gaps around the legs and none of the inner part of the nappy is sticking out of the sides. If this happens, it will get wet and will make your baby's clothes wet. Only the outer pull should be on show. Finally, just be aware that if your baby is wearing a cloth nappy, the back of the nappy should sit just above your baby's bottom. This is a bit different to wearing a disposable and is considerably lower probably. And often if you don't have enough fabric in the front, it's probably because you need to pull it down and so that it's slightly lower at the back. And that's it, your nappy is fitted and ready to go. Then to change the nappy, all you need to do is unpopper the snaps and take out the biodegradable liner. This might be clean if it's just a wee or it might have a poo if he's done a poo. So then you throw that into your toilet and throw away the liner. Then pull out the inner part of the nappy and I just lay it on top. This means you're not actually touching any of the poo or any of the wee. The back of the liner is, tends to be dry. And then you put it either in your wet bag if you are out and about or you will have a nappy bin if you are at home. We have a well-made bin with a good sealing lid and we put our nappies into the bin dry. My husband actually calls me a bloodhound because I pick up on smells and we've never ever had a problem with our bin smelling. We wash our nappies every other day and they are kept in a dry bin in the bathroom in the meantime. Finally, in this video, I'm going to quickly go over our washing routine for our nappies and wipes. We put our wash on generally when Oscar has gone to bed. We load the washing machine and here's my husband doing it. He is the biggest cloth nappy convert going. And then we put it on the cycle using a bio detergent powder. I'm going to put a link in the description box below that covers all the details about detergents and what you should and shouldn't use on your cloth nappies. And then we use a 40 degree cotton wash and we we sometimes add a pre-wash if the nappies are particularly soiled. So the nappies are being cleaned by the machine, it doesn't add too much stress to our day and then we just hang them out when the cycle has finished. If it's the daytime we hang them outside, if it's nice weather because the sun does help with bleaching, but if not we put them out on the rack or we put the liners on the radiators to dry. Obviously nappies are designed to hold moisture so they might take a little bit longer to dry inside. So that's the end of this week's video. I'm really happy to make more videos in more depth and detail about using cloth nappies and cloth wipes. So just pop in the comments below if there's anything that you would like covered or any further information and I'm happy to do that for you. Thanks again to my sponsors this week, Littles and Blooms cloth nappies and cheeky wipes cloth wipes. Again, I'll pop down all their details in the description box below so you can go out and have a look at their websites and check out the product ranges that they have. And I will see you again next week. Bye.